My new novel is called Playing the Game and it's about a woman called Annette Remington who is in her late 30s. She's very talented as an art historian and an art consultant. Someone has brought her a long lost Rembrandt to sell. She puts it up for auction and lo and behold she gets 20 million pounds. She has a call from a friend. He says, I had a call from a private investigator today looking for somebody called Hilda Crump. And apparently she worked at the gallery you worked at many years ago. I don't know why he's looking for her, but did you know her? And she says, no. And they hang up and she's terrified. I had the idea of writing a book about a woman who had a lot of secrets but had become, shall we say, rich and famous and well known and very elegant. But what's the past? Why is she worried about her past coming out? And I thought, all right, why not put this book in the art world? Let's make my woman in the art world. And I very quickly saw her in my mind, had a name for her, had an age for her. And I then said, but what is she trying to hide? Why is she so scared that everyone will find out where she comes from and what happened in the past and what is the great secret she has? My editor in London asked me if the art world was as corrupt as I have made it in playing the game and I'm afraid that I have to answer yes it is. Last year alone in Britain 200 million pounds were lost because of art forgeries and it is a corrupt world, it's full of gossip, it's full of jealousies, it's full of backbiting and it's as bad as Wall Street if you like. I hope playing the game will intrigue my readers because indeed there is quite a lot of intrigue in the book. Uh, it's not only the past of Annette um, and the great secret that she is terrified is going to come out, but um, there is a mystery about her husband because he married her when she was very young and in a sense rescued her from this gritty past. But there is mystery about him and his past. Um, there is a lot of suspense because Annette represents this young man who inherited an art collection. She discovers that there is a fake You've got intrigue, you've got mystery, you've got some suspense, of course. In a Barbara Taylor Bradford book, there's always a bit of romance.